chest. And don't meet us fine. Glowing wand. What the frick's glowing wand? Holy crap! Hey guys, and welcome back to the night. It's Midnight here, back for another episode of Fallout 4, episode number 20. Uh, last episode, we pretty much just got tricked by some freaking raiders and stuff into some like bloody warehouses. It was insane, and then we actually fought some super mutants, and we thought, oh, there's a sewer there, and we thought we might leave for this episode, so we're dead happy to go into the sewer then, guys. But what I'm going to do, chilling out back at home, I just thought I'd show you with this like slow time thing that we picked up. Pretty badass piece of armor, this one, this Marder's Raider's right arm. Definitely slows down during combat when you're 20% or less health. It's pretty badass, pretty damn badass. So I just thought, quick little, like, upgrade. I haven't really got much in the armor points and stuff, but I can put it onto, like, a pocketed or a light build. So it improves weight, reduces weight, or pocketed improves carry capacity. We're going to go for pocketed because I like that kind of stuff. Um, just gives me a bit more weight, and especially with no strength. I am struggling at the moment. So, uh, damage and resistance. Yeah, I might as well just go straight on to the tempered one, mate. Oh, this guy's ass is right in my face. Get the hell out of the way. Jesus Christ. Uh, idiot swamp just popped there as well. Awesome news. So, we got there, we go. So, we got more. It's tempered, rated, right up, right, uh, left arm, right up. I can't remember which one it was, but it's pocketed now, so it gives me like an extra five points in weight, which I'm dead happy with. So, let's roll on. Did I pick up a quest? Kidnapping at Sanctuary Hills. So I'm pressing Garber. Yeah. Random quest just popped up. Like, I was just chilling out and just said, like, um, oh, you need someone's been kidnapped. It's like, what the hell? I haven't even been there. Randomly just spawning there. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, I'll take that anyway. So I'm just going to head off back to the sewers. And it looks like a pretty, pretty, like, daunting area, really. I'm quite excited to go down there. Uh, when we went in there, there was, like, some skeleton hanging up. And that's all we got to because we were, we were pretty much getting ass kicked by, like, raiders and stuff. And then some super mutants outside the sewers as well. So I'm presuming super mutants are going to be inside. So we we'll have to keep an eye out for them. Got our rifles ready though. I might actually ditch the fiery laser rifle that we picked up as well. That was it's kind of kind of cool, but um, the cryolator just seems to do a bit more damage. So we're just gonna keep the cryolator on and see how we get on against these dudes. Okay, finally in next to the sewers. So it's a bit annoying that you have to go through the loading screen just to get to the sewers, and then you have to actually open the bloody sewers, and it's another bloody loading screen. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's freaking annoying. I love that, I love that, move that skull up as well. That's pretty weird. So I'm contemplating if this is going to be super mutant, so then we're going to have to be in super sneak mode. Um, because to be fair, like, super, super mutant is normally like, right, rock on down like these kind of areas in like the sewers. So here we go, I'm a little bit scared. You never know, this, this area might be like really tiny, you never know. Uh, just want to check if I've got my correlator on. On the correlators on the... These are my favourites. Yeah, it is indeed. I don't see, yeah, it's there. Correlator, powerful camera. I might actually put the correlator on to remove that and then put it on to the other side. Just because it's a little bit easier, but I'm in sneak mode now. Um, I don't really want to pick up too much stuff, but how much weight am I rocking on at the moment? 128, not too bad. Uh, Dogby's pretty full up, to be fair. We've got given him like loads of. We've got given him a mini gun and stuff, so he's like pretty loaded up. Um, obviously, just because I'm like hauling loads of crap. To be fair, they probably would never even need it as well. So here we go, this place is looking proper scary. Uh, check this guy out. Is he like fishing with his own skull? Man, yep, that's kind of like a fishing rod with his own skull. That's pretty damn weird. Okay, I'm presuming I'm going to go in here and get like radiated. Uh, no, I'm not too bad at the moment. Okay, I'm going to see if I can pop this stuff out there. Yeah, that's awesome news. I'm going to take the skull off here. They, no more fishing for you, my friend. I'm sorry the bait has been taken and you're not pulling me in. Uh, what the hell? What was this? Like a metal bucket? No, I'm more good. All in metal bucket fronts. I need to any of this water up. I'm going to check this place out, man. It is proper scary. Let's keep my rifle ready. I'm presuming the super mutants are going to be in here. We've got a feral room. Oh no, it might be actually ghouls. You never know. Actually, because there's a flipping one right in the front of my face. Here we go. Let's take this bitch down. Shoot this dude down. 44% chance to hit. Damn it, that's a bit annoying. And I just have to take him down one shot then. That's kind of screwed me up then. So I picked up a feral ghoul and then like I got bum rushed by a feral ghoul at the same time. So we need to make sure feral ghouls are no longer. What the hell is he carrying a wooden block for? That's a pretty weird little thing you carry on there, my friend. And uh, like a radio and then a skull. Bottle caps, that kind of stuff. I'll take all that kind of stuff. That's fine by me. So, yep, another one dude coming inbound. I'm presuming you haven't spotted me yet, so let's go in sneaky, sneaky mode and see if we can take this bitch down. Here we go. Where are you going from, mate? Took this bitch down. Got him in the face, and I got the sneak tag damage. Awesome news. That was pretty damn badass. So, anywhere else I can go around here? No. Nope. Seems like there's only like a one way seat at the moment. Dogmeat's just chilling out nearby. How are we doing, Dogmeat? Nothing else to go. Okay, that's fair enough. Um, where's this ghoul that I picked up, by the way? Okay. I'll make sure I don't drink water as well because I'll get freaking radiated like fuck. Um. What the hell? More water here. I keep thinking it's something here, but it's bloody water. I want to pick up the water, really, the water midnight to screw me up. Um, I hope that is in the area. Thank God for that. I thought it was just a tiny little little spot. Then I thought that was a bit of an anticlimactic sewer. 
Um, but we're not doing too bad, just rolling through these areas. And I've got to watch these ghouls, because that guy looks like he's maybe alive. But I can't pick him up on that, so he's not alive. Weird, though, with his eyes open. Like, his glowing little eyes. I thought he might be actually alive. But he's not alive. So chill out, good night. <laughs> so, anywhere else we can get through here. Yep, it's kind of like a ghoul there. These guys keep waking up, by the way. I think my sneak, my, uh, sneak isn't that good. And it's about this bitch right on the chest. You go down, right through the little cab cabin thingy. Yep, didn't think so, my friend. That's pretty badass. She's like, sit down, my friend. Sit down, straight away. And this guy's like rocking on a barbecue. Yep, I'm just gonna take all this stuff off the barbecue. Because we've been taking fishes and we've got a detective two. Okay, let's play this thing. Uh, I want you to appreciate your surroundings, detective. Oh, what the hell? I can only be myself in a place like this. Life up there is exhausting. Sounds like someone's pretty tortured there. Every day you smile at people who don't care about you one way or another because that is what you do. Down here, I really get to live. I'm happy to share it with you today, detective. Wow, okay, that's pretty scary then, because I'm guessing there's a detective down here and he got flipping grills. Um, like literally by this guy. My god, it didn't sound like a very nice guy, that guy done. Like, going down here because he didn't want to be with everyone else up top, near Diamond City, I guess. So someone's died down here. The only thing is, I always think, guys, um, when we're doing this, like, exploring on our own, when we haven't got a quest for it, because, like, you can go to Diamond City and we'll be like, oh, find our husband, the detective, then we've already done the quest, so it's kind of like a little bit annoying. But oh, well, here we go, blow flies. Take this bitch down, it's really the best thingy. And just explode into millions of pieces and then fall into the water, because that's how we roll. Really, what? Oh god, that rad is it's quite, quite significant. Okay, there's like a barrel there, which gives me some rads, I think. And there's a guy over there, it looks like. Okay, let's get ready for the fight. Here we go. I think there's a guy jumping down, actually. I'm gonna swap to the overseers for a bit more damage. Uh, any more dudes I can pick up? I can't see any. If I can maybe take him out from this shot. Yeah, I can. That's a good shot. That is a real good shot. Take this bitch down. Here we go. Got a little bit of elevation on these bitches. And this guy's going in this way, so I need to see nothing about the overseers. Is the scope's quite a long, a long magnification, so. Anything close quarters, you're a little bit screwed. I could always swap it up though, so like a, like a, a, a smaller one. Okay, so I'm just going to go through here. I'm going to try and uh, kind of screw my rads because I've got quite a few radaways. Right get past this barrel. I think those kind of like radiated barrels are the ones where I get you. Uh, I'm not really bothered about like boat flies if I don't find them in the water as well. So I should have got like a torch or something. It's really hard to see around these kind of areas. And a bowling pin and a bowling ball. So I'll take this bowling ball. Because I think uh, we could always use the ammo for it. think some kind of weapon or something which got, uh, contains bowling balls, which is pretty damn awesome. Um, I think you've seen it on the loading screen, I can't remember what it's called. But it looks pretty damn badass. And then what we've got in here, we've got some like antifreeze. Yeah, we need to freeze and sub some antifreezing. What the hell? Okay, I'll check this place out. It's bloody massive, man. Oh my god, this is freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. Feral balls inbound. I don't know why I didn't sneak then. I'll just have a check for this thing. And they all freaking see me. Okay, then let's see this bitch down. Here we go. Right in the little chest thingy. That was a good little shot because I thought I didn't. I just about to miss him. Sneaky that damage hit. Uh, I got three times damage as well, so I need to keep an eye out because these guys are going to be after me. Uh, wow. And this sewers is awesome. Dead happy we're exploring this area then, dudes. Because this looks freaking awesome. Totally, totally wicked. Okay, there's a guy down here as well. I'm going to engage, engage, engage. Screw the vats. You go down. Awesome. Whoa. Screw the vats. What the freak happened? Freaking feral go in my face. Oh my god. Take this bitch down, please. Dog me. Stop moving. Yeah. Slow down the three rounds because this damage, this rack does some damage. Okay, let's let's see if we can go for the cry later for the next shot. I know we shouldn't be really using the ammo for the cry later. Um, but I want to give it a go. I want to give it a go. See what it's like. Uh, this is pretty cool though. Like this area, like there's a monkey there as well. I think they like cause an alarm or something. So fuck alarms. That's what I think, bitches. Let's go in here. I think there's another way we can go. I'm presuming there's like more dudes everywhere though, so it might be a pretty badass area. Was that a combat knife? A big top might pick up a combat knife just for the thing. And a teddy bear. Dog bead likes a teddy bear, so that's all good news. And what's this kind of like random crap over here? Nothing really we need to use. Uh, okay, yep, so let's roll on. I'm going to reload. No, nope. all good. I thought it was reloaded, but I don't need to. So I only have seven shots in the three rates, so it's not too bad. Uh, was there anywhere else we could go? I thought there was another way this way. Yeah, there was. And this might actually this might just be like the other end of the, like, the cable we've already been in, I think, maybe. And. Uh, no. I've got to keep an eye out for like popping vats here. Something actually in here. Cram, cram. Can I pick up this cram? And sales bridge steak. Wow. So they like shoved a cop drop got up here just to stash their food. But I got it instead. So too bad. Yeah. So um, I'm just going through these areas really. Going through like a big ass red light. I think that's pretty scary. And then a 
might need to put the red away at some point. And this guy, like, check out this guy, like, hanging on with a hat on as well. Okay, this guy there. Whoa, this fucking guy right in my face, and that made me jump. Hello there, my friend. I cannot see you because you're right in my face. Hello there. Big freak out. Right in the chest. Man, that's kicking ass at the moment. And we've got military good duct tape in us, dude. You go down as well. So I'm presuming these guys are running either towards me, like, through a different way, or going that way. And then military good duct tape. I'll take that off you. Awesome news. Let's reload this thing. And next level, next like level, then guys, we'll see what we can get up with because we're quite close to getting level 20 at the moment. Um, and what have we got something here? We got can I actually like why what's with all these, these like crosses on the walls? By the way, it's pretty damn weird. I want to see if I could maybe go up there, but I can't. I might be able to try and take the head off this guy though. Uh, bowler hat, and then what? There we go. It's just floating in midair. Take this thing out. Awesome news. Got the bowler hat off you. So let's roll on. Uh, there's a guy. Is that a guy? Oh, that's a freaking mannequin. Jesus Christ, these mannequins, man. Made me freaking jump. Okay, so quick save. Let's so look this guy was just chilling out down here. That's what I was going to say, by the way. The vats, I think you've got to spot. I forgot completely what I was going to say earlier. That's weird. Um, the vats can help you spot out dudes when they're like chilling out. A legendary feral ghoul stalker. Holy shit, that thing's a freaking beast. Take the freaking thing down. Oh my god, a legendary thing. And I bloody missed. And it just. What the fuck happened? Napalm me or something. My god. Uh, but he's not, and he's, he's freaking strong, isn't he? He's freaking strong. I'm gonna swap to the cryolator. Bloody hell. Okay, I think he's got kind of like a oh, mutator or something. Cryolator has been. Oh, yeah, cryolator kicking his ass, man. Absolutely owning him. Let's own this bitch ass. Yeah, right in his face, and he just disintegrated into a million pieces. Get in. After he just got frozen to death, cryolator was doing some work there. So, what we got here? We got a safe crack, safe crack his middle left leg. This might be pretty decent. Uh, 10 million rounds and a shot glass, so he's been shot in back. He's been shot in back as well. So here we go, safe cries left, my left leg. Increases the size of sweet spots while picking locks. Hell to the flicking yes. We got a good one, we got a good one, we got a good one. Okay, so. So have I got a left leg? Have I got a left leg? A pocketed bush rested reader left leg is going to be dished by the safe cracker's middle left leg. Awesome news. We've got a bit more armor. I love in these like legendary enemies, by the way. I love the fact of getting just popping random legendary enemies. Great call on that one. Uh, to put the difficulty up to try and like, help you out a little bit more. Because we're not doing too bad against actually. I thought we'd be a bit struggling, but we're alright, we're alright. Um, especially for like a max look playthrough, having 10 luck and 1 strength and 1 endurance and stuff. You kind of get you think you get your ass kicked. And we, we, we pretty much do, to be fair, but uh, not 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 as much as I'd, I'd expected. But that's a good thing, because otherwise we'd just be keep constantly dying. I mean, to be fair, when, when we hit like super mutant bases and stuff, and it takes more like 20 attempts to get in through the front freaking door, then it might be a little bit different. But let's roll on. Pack up these things. This guy like just jumped down from nowhere. And it was annoying because I kinda like he got the jump on me, so my sneaking out damage didn't do as much damage. And this guy's just chilling out here. I kinda wanna find out what happened to this detective as well. So I'm gonna take this mining helmet. I wonder what this mining helmet would do. Would that like maybe light up? I'm gonna try this on. Uh, how do I guide? I was gonna see if he's gonna light it light it up, but I don't think it does. Which would be damn useful if it did, though. Okay, put my better fedora back on because this thing just rocks. I know it only gives me like a look one and it just looks cool. I just like the idea, though. Um, but I could do with probably just, like a helmet or something if it put one. Uh, like increase in, wet, in armor and stuff. Dog lead me about the freaking way. I'm just trying to look at this thing and there's nothing in the way. So there's a place down there. And is that it? I think it is. Yeah, because this kind of like goes up to the nothing and I nearly broke my legs then. Jesus Christ. So this is the guy where that guy was chilling out, right? Uh, yeah, because this guy was like hanging on. So we need to go through this way and then down into these sewers. I'm loving these sewers at the moment because they're looking pretty damn badass. And we've just got to keep our wits about us. And there's a guy. Damn it, mannequins every bloody way. Why is he mannequins in the sewer, by the way? This is so weird. So weird. Okay, okay. Rolling around. Hello, dudes. Hello, hello, hello. Mannequins. And there's a feral ghoul right in my face. So let's get the bitch down. Shoot this guy down, please. And, yep, in the chest. I love the vats, man. I love the vats. Kicking ass. And I've got two critical saved up. I should really should be using these things because I'm about to pop a third critical. Uh, okay, let's just pop a critical on this guy. Feral Gullis. Shoot this bitch down. Critical. Here we go. Critical. And right in the back load. Yep. No more walking for you. And then you just walk into the ghoul, my friend, because you got owned. Awesome news. And this guy over here. Well, he might spot me. A feral ghoul run. Yep, you have indeed. I'm going to pop another critical on this guy. Take this guy down. Kicking ass. Kicking ass. Obviously, he's kicking ass as well. I might swap to the three away rounds for a bit. That that uh, cryo there was proper serious uh, damage there, really, because it just froze him and just made him completely immobile, really, which is just an easy kill for me then, which is what he, what you wanted to do against that ball guy. So I don't know if I missed him, but he had some serious health. And 
and this is, might be the end of the area actually because I've picked up a big ass chest. Yep, we have picked up a big ass chest. And dog meat has found a glowing wand. What the frick? Glowing wand. Holy crap! Oh my god, he just did like a radiation thing and he's got some serious health. Some serious bloody health. But dog meat's like distracting a little bit. Okay, this is where the time. Oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I was about to use a missile launcher, but then he's ev freaking everywhere. Oh my god. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh god, have I got my missile launcher on me? Missile launcher, please. Yes, missile launcher. This is the time we use missile launcher. So let's roll this missile launcher out and shoot this bitch down. Here we go. Fire. No more zero chance to hit. What do you mean zero chance to hit? Get the back, get the frick back, get the frick back. Oh my god, this is insane. This is freaking insane. They're everywhere. Shoot these bitches down. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not going to shoot this guy right in my face because he's just going to take me head off. This guy goes down. We'll have to like, no scope this guy. No scope this guy as well. I like, quick scope this bitch ass. So glowing one is around, and I'm pretty scared. He's pretty damn menacing as well. Hello, there, my friend. He does like a radiation blast right in my face. Oh my god, this is insane. This is insane. I have to go for the cry later. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Shoot this bitch down. Fire. Execute critical. Can I just try to freeze this guy? Can I like freeze him? That's fine, that's fine. I bought a board board. Oh god, and just something happened, and then I just. Yep, he froze to death. Look, he froze to death and still killed me. Jesus Christ, that was insane. Oh man. Well, well at least we know where this bitch's ass is going to come from, so we need to go after this dude and kick his ass. Probably with a missile launcher. Okay, so we're back down here. Good job, we're going to give it a quick save. I love this area, this is proper awesome. So there was a chest down there, and I wonder if it was going to like respawn a different chest now because I died. So give it another quick save. So here we go. Uh, there's feral ghouls. Where were the feral ghouls? There was one like around the area, wasn't there? So uh, here we go. Caution. Yep, these guys picked me up. I don't know how they picked me up so damn easy. I was sleeping around. I was sleeping. So whatever. Um, and then I'm gonna try. I wanted to get Dominic safe, but he's kind of like running off. Dominic, chillax, man. Chillax, chillax, chillax. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm take this bitch down. See what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna put my missile launcher on the hot bar. Whoa, what was that? Okay, uh, let me do that. Go well. I'm actually gonna put the missile launcher on the hot bar. To actually help me out a little bit. Okay, RB and then next to the cry a little bit more damage. So I can just swap it out. That would be that badass. So the guy here, I'm just gonna take this guy out. I've got plenty of these ammo for the three for the, uh, for the overseer, so we're kicking ass with that. I'm doing one shots by the way, which is pretty insane. Uh, it did cost me a lot of cash though, so here we go. I'm right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap to the cry later, freeze him, and then missile launch his bitch ass. So here we go, here we go, here we go. Where are you glowing one? You're about to get your ass kicked by some frozen death. So let's do this. Let's freaking do this, my friend. Let's bloody do this. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Let's shoot this bitch down. Here we go. Fire. Uh, and then let's go swap to the crit let's go for the missile launcher and blow this bitch down. Shoot this thing critical twice. Here we go. Fire. This is gonna be your damn awesome. This is gonna be damn freaking awesome. Can I shoot him again? Can I shoot him again, please? Oh god, he's running towards me and he just did a serious amount of health. Oh my god, raw? Jesus Christ. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's see if we pitch down. I've got 71% chances on his torso. I'm out of critical points, damn it. So here we go, fire. And this is kicking ass, man. Absolutely kicking ass. I'm going to have to just do one more shot. Let's see if we can get one more VAT shot on him. Please give me a VAT shot. Critical. Fire this missile launcher. Why well, I still got my mind hat on it because it looks like it. And I just ripped his freaking leg off. Rest easy, my friend. Glow one, because you're not going to glow no longer. Let's take this bitch down. Take this bitch down around the face. And did I get him? I got him close. Glow one goes down. I thought I was about to like, mess it up then, but I killed him finally. That was damn awesome, though, dudes. That was freaking awesome. And we killed him finally. Man, he was he was insane. So let me put the, my hat back on. I've noticed I'm a butt miner's hat for some reason. And the dog gets ass kicked, by the way, because it looked like he did. Okay, we've got a bottle of capsule, fusion cell, nuclear material, and pre war meat. Not too much off him. But we kicked his ass, so I'm happy with that. And it was just the way he went from, because it kind of looked like I know he was just chilling out in the corner, which is pretty weird. But I wonder if he was like the like the dude um, on the rate on the mic who was saying like he, he could be himself down here. Because he was like full of radiation and stuff, it was pretty damn badass. So excuse me, dog meat, I'm trying to get through here and you're in the way. Thank you. Water caps, I'm going short. I'm trying to find like a um, like a uh, no, there's one of those cassettes and something pretty damn useful to use. I can't see any around. So I think that might be the end of the area. But we did kill the thing, so any quest will pop up saying, oh, kill glowing one. Well, that's already done for us. So what we got? We've got a Cops 3 around, a recon calibrated pipe bolt action rifle, I'm guessing, and a pocketed combat armor chest piece. Wow. Okay, let's check these beasts out then. So we got a pocketed armor chest piece. Uh, I bet that's better than the one we got, right? Because the chest piece that we got on, um, pocketed shadow metal chest piece. Uh, 15 and 15, 17 and 9. Um, 
That one's actually better than that. I don't think it actually is good. Shadow giving me a little bit more stealth in areas. And then was the rifle that we picked up, I think. Uh, what was the rifle that we picked up? A recon calibrate ball action uh, rifle. Yeah, that's kind of like the one we picked up like that, actually. It actually does 308 uh, rounds instead of the normal point forty five uh, point what we're using point forty five or something, wasn't it? Or point thirty one or something, I can't remember. Well whatever. That was pretty damn awesome though. We killed that dude. Looking for a cassette or anything around. I don't think I see any. And this seems to be the end of the area, unless there's anything in this thing. Looks like some kind of safe as well. Which is damn awesome. And we'd actually try, be able to try out our uh, chest piece, uh, sorry, leg, left leg that we picked up. And here we go, we're on a right away, stealth boy. Uh, here we go, a tumblers today. You collect an issue with tumblers today. Lopping is permanently easier. Take that beast down, awesome news. And dear detective number four. So I might have either missed two out, which is a little bit of a shame, but I'll play this one as well. Why the hell not? I didn't want to hurt you, detective. I didn't want to hurt you. But you, you hurt me first. Now I know you didn't mean those things you said. And I forgive you, detective. Oh, man. It doesn't matter anymore. Now you're here with me. Kind of went well, and then. we have all the time in the world to get to know each other. <laughs> wow, so that guy got pretty much his ass kicked then I'm nice. guessing. Take all this kind of stuff off you, all the news. So I can't, it's a bit of a shame that I might not be able to see the other the detective, uh, like cassettes and stuff. But you never know, they might have just been really hard to spot or I might have just been an idiot and completely walked past them. So here we go, we've got a permanently easier lot picks and we've got Bobo here. An expert safe, I already know that's about open safe, but safes and probably takes whiskey as well. So let's try this thing out to so do it permanently easier and the sweet spots a little bit easier as well. So I'm guessing I'm gonna be straight in there. Yep, straight in there. Awesome gotcha. news. That was pretty damn badass then. So I'm guessing this is a proper badass little safe by the way. Jesus Christ, I got a serious amount of ammo, uh, missiles and I got loads of free rate rounds and all that kind of good stuff. Um, so I'm guessing that's going to be a permanent increase because the sweet spot was pretty significant as well. And I'm not too bad at the safes at the moment, so that's good news for me because normally I'm breaking novice locks and stuff, so let's roll on. Through the, I'm presuming this is the way to get out now, which I'm dead happy with because we kicked ass against glowing one. We didn't really help the detective. Uh, what the hell is this thing? Did I miss that thing? Or did I? How do I get there? I wonder if you could jump there. Um, that seems like somewhere you can't actually get to any other way. Let's go jump down this thing. Yep, this is pretty weird. These guys are just chilling out. Oh, before they died, they were in the bed. So I'm guessing the chalk is to like them significant how many days they survived or something. Uh, so I'm going to take it off you and a machete because because you don't need it anymore because you're dead. I'm sorry. Um, I wonder if you could like write on the wall as well or something for them. So that's it. That's pretty weird though. It is basically in this like little room. I wonder if they were like bricked in or something. That's pretty scary. So I'm going to go back through this way. Uh, I'll take two ball off you, my friend. Oh, he's got proper random stuff. I picked up like an eight ball off one of them, picked up like one of those little toy block thingies. Weird stuff, man. So I'm going to sneak around because I don't think there might be any more dudes, but you never know. And, and this seems to be the way to go now. It's like red light as well, it's proper light dawning. Okay, hot plate, and then we got some sugar bombs and a long block. I don't really need anything else. Don't really need too much of the loot in front. Could do like the like the clean the glues and stuff, that's the stuff you want. I know you can get like factories and stuff to get the like, good stuff though. Any vegetable starch is a good way of doing it. Okay, so check this area out. It's like all like been like burst pipes, I guess. Um, this might be the end of the sewers as well. I can hear a dude or a... yep, I can hear a dude because I'm picking caution up. So where the hell are we? It might even be a bowfly, which might not be too bad. Uh, oh, what the hell is this thing? A rad roach under the rad under the ratty water. So let's take the fish down. One shot in. Awesome news. This might be the actually getting out of the sewer now, which is damn awesome. So try not to drink the water. Uh, and red rage meat, yeah, I think it's kind of like floating on the top there. Thank you for that. So let's roll on. This looks like a little bit of a hole we can actually get through. Because um, that might be, yeah, that's the start of the area. So it actually looks like we're coming back out into the open now. Jumping off this thing, yep, we are indeed. Killed glowing, watch which I'm dead happy with. Uh, not too bad as well. I mean, we did die after we just said we weren't doing too bad in this playthrough, and then we got our ass kicked pretty significantly as well. That guy did some serious damage. But we kicked ass, we kicked ass. Um, so, anything else I could do? No, I can't see anything else. So, what have we got rocking over here? We got this thing, fens open, it's playing up, and we're finally outside in out the freaking sewers. Awesome news, and it wasn't super mutants, it was ghouls, which weren't as bad, I don't think. 
So we were quite lucky in that respect. Okay, so we're finally out top now. Fen Street sewer has been like completely clear, which I'm dead happy with. So I think I'm gonna have to end the episode, guys. So let me know how you guys got on just kicking ass against all those like ghouls and stuff, or did I spot like any like cassettes and stuff? But those got those that glowing one wasn't too bad, and we did some serious damage against him. And that cryo did some work as well. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And if you did enjoy, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.